Yo, what is going on guys? It's Toby here and today we're going to be hitting the ski slopes. So if you didn't know, we're actually in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm in the hotel room right now and I'm going to show you this insane view. We're going to have an action packed day. I can get this damn door open. I don't know what's up with that. But here's what we're dealing with out here. Absolutely insane. I'm not even sure what those mountains are. That's kind of disappointing. I should know, but maybe the Rockies or the Appalachians, I don't remember which one's on the east and west coast, but it's absolutely breathtaking. So like I said, we have a huge day planned ahead. I'm actually gonna go to breakfast now, so I'll see you guys when I get there. So we're headed to breakfast now. I forgot that I had to wash my face, so we did that real quick. Let's grab this coat and head over. Toby, you know you have like two minutes to get the bus. All right, so we just made it to the ski slopes. We're gonna get our gear on and we're gonna go up there real quick. We took the shuttle over. I was trying to film, it was way too shaky, but maybe we'll get some clips on the way back of the scenery. We're at the main ski village now. I think it's called Teton Village and there's one of the gondolas and this is the village. It's pretty nice overall. They got a few restaurants here. You know, the jazz ski town. Did you find what you're looking for? Got a sweater? Mm -hmm. Time to get our gear. Again, all the last of the gear that's left, get the helmet, all that type of stuff. You gotta slap this on. So it may be unusual because we're not wearing many layers, but it's actually like 40 degrees out here. So it's way too hot. Here are our boards though. I'm gonna grab those, go on the slope. So we're waiting in the gondola line now. I'm gonna get to the top, have a good day. Super excited, super psyched. That was a big fail, all right? We don't even have our ski passes. I thought we did, but we don't. Second time we're trying to get the ski pass. Our way up in the gondola. My sister's actually scared. I don't know, like something about the heights. She said she's scared about it. Well, I just think it could break and we could die, so. So we're almost at the top here. I mean, it's kind of high up there. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like 8,000 feet elevation. So we're pretty up here. Right now we're about halfway to the top. You can see it's a long ways down. We're gonna hit those slopes now. So slight change in plans. We decided to go even higher up. We're on the chairlift right now. We're almost at the top. We only got a little bit more to go. Then we're gonna go on the slopes. All right, let us know where we're going today. Cause I have no clue. I just follow her. We just came up past her quad chair. We're gonna go down and then all the way down Sundance. So I think that's like that trail right there or something, I don't even know. I'm just gonna follow her. All right, so first slope of the day, we're dealing with a double blue, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we're gonna bomb it. I wish I had my GoPro. I totally forgot it in the hotel room. That's my fault, but we're gonna try our best here with capturing all of the day's moments. Like I said, once again, would have been nice to have a GoPro, but there's my sister coming flying down. <laughs> We're on our second run now. First run was super fun. I actually ate it trying to film her and we're gonna go to the terrain park this time. So I'm filming my sister while she's going. This is kind of sketchy. Hopefully I don't hurt myself, but I wanted to do it for the shot, anything for the shot, right? And I'm having too much fun out here, but it's actually terrain park time. Now I'm gonna go down a pretty steep thing once again with the phone in my hand. We'll see how that goes. Terrain park time. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through Alright, so we just came out of the terrain park. We're not the best. We did a few jumps. I mean, we're intermediates at the terrain park, but not experts. We're gonna grab some lunch now. Wait, so what are you getting? Um, steak full. I don't know about you guys, but I'm more of a burger guy, so I'm gonna go with that. It's here now. I don't even remember what she got. A meatball or something? Yeah, carne asada. I don't know, but this restaurant is good for playing Shrek in the background. All fueled up and ready to go again. We're gonna go back up the lift, but we're gonna take a brief bathroom break. Last run of the day. Today was super fun. It wasn't so icy like it was yesterday. And I think we're gonna hit the terrain park. We're gonna do a couple more blues. So see you guys once we get up there out of the gondola. All right, here we go, round two. Just had lunch, we're back out here.
Last run, Bob, boys. Woo! Last train park run. So it was an absolutely fantastic day out there on the slopes. I had so much fun. You guys are going to enjoy the clips, but I wanted to give you a brief little room tour. I'm gonna take a shower and then we're gonna head to dinner. I'm also going to take you all there as well. So get excited. Beautiful view, but that vanity has to come up so I can fully show you guys the inside because it's blocking way too much sun out. And I thought I'd also do a brief hotel tour. So here we have some sort of lounging sofa. I'm not sure what's up with that. My sister's computer, some chairs here as well. Go over here. Here we have the bed and the nightstand, my computer, because I'm editing videos while on vacation, the grind doesn't stop. And then I'll take you to the bathroom real quick. So nothing special here. I mean, it's pretty cool, obviously super duper nice, but I'm just saying it's a regular bathroom and we have a shower in here. Actually, this is a really, really nice shower. So that's basically it. Totally forgot to mention that we have that absolutely amazing view of the balcony from the bathroom. So you can see that. I'm not sure why the shades are down. I didn't do that and I don't really know how to put them back up but it's beautiful. Alrighty, so we just got to dinner. The big camera actually ran out of space, so we're gonna have to resort to the iPhone. I'm sorry for any drop in quality. This is the restaurant right here. It's called Kitchen. Let's hop inside. It's super loud in here, but I think I'm going with the deer. My food finally came, here it is. Good morning, everyone. Last night's dinner was fantastic. I really enjoyed eating that deer. We don't really get that in Florida, and the meat just tastes so good compared to regular steak that we have back home. But anyways, we're gonna do a brief hotel tour. It's snowing like crazy today, so I'm glad I got to show you the view from my room because you would have not been able to see it today. I'll show you what that looks like. So the snow is coming down. It's like a full-on blizzard. Just earlier this morning, the winds were like 30 miles an hour, and it was snowing super duper hard, so I thought we were in the middle of a blizzard, but we weren't. We were just getting crazy snowfall. So I'm glad we went snowboarding yesterday and not today because we would have had absolutely no visibility and it probably would have been a dangerous time. Right down there on the bottom floor, we have the pool and spa. And then there's obviously the pool. I think they have a jacuzzi. It would be pretty cool to go to the jacuzzi while it's snowing, at least I think. So this is the pool area that I was talking about that I showed outside of the window. Super nice. I imagine when it's clear skies and we don't have a bunch of snow falling, you can see all of the mountains in the background and that would be awesome. This hotel actually has pretty unique architectural design. Like this is probably common to Wyoming because I've never seen anything close to resemblance in architecture in Florida. So I don't know about you guys, but my most enjoyable portion of this trip was being out on the slopes. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.